In today's topic of respiratory pathology is the infective lung diseases. In the infective lung diseases, first let us discuss about the pneumonia in detail. What is pneumonia? The infection of the lung parenchyma is called as pneumonia. The lung parenchyma is nothing but it is the actual lung tissue. This pneumonia is of two types. One is the typical pneumonia and the second one is atypical pneumonia. In the typical pneumonia, it is mainly caused by the infections of extracellular organisms, mainly bacteria. And it is mainly characterized by the neutrophilic infiltration and there is a presence of intra-alveolar exudates that leads to lung consolidation. And if you see the clinical features of the typical pneumonia, it includes an acute onset of high-grade fever and mucopurulent cough which is also associated with the pleuritic pain which is called as the pleuritic chest pain. I will repeat again, the typical pneumonia is mainly caused by the extracellular organisms, mainly bacteria. It is mainly characterized by the neutrophilic infiltration. Remember, the neutrophilic infiltration is always due to an acute inflammation. In majority of the cases, the acute inflammation is mainly due to acute infection because the pneumonia is mainly due to bacteria. So, typical pneumonia is mainly due to the acute infection of the lung parenchyma which leads to the neutrophilic infiltration and the presence of intra-alveolar exudates leading to the lung consolidation. The important clinical features are because of acute infection as well as neutrophilic infiltration, the patient may develop acute onset of high-grade fever and mucopurulent cough which is associated with the pleuritic chest pain. On the other hand, if you see atypical pneumonia, it is mainly caused by the intracellular organisms. The typical pneumonia is caused by the extracellular organisms and atypical pneumonia is mainly caused by the intracellular organisms like mycoplasma, chlamydia pneumonia and viruses like respiratory syncytial virus, influenza virus and rhinovirus. And here the infection is mainly chronic in nature. So in the same way the inflammation is also chronic type which means chronic inflammation. In the typical pneumonia it is acute infection associated with acute inflammation. That is the reason it is characterized by neutrophilic infiltration but in atypical pneumonia due to chronic infection as well as chronic inflammation it is characterized by lymphocytic infiltration and there is a presence of alveolar septal and interstitial inflammation with the absence of alveolar exudates. Remember, intra-alveolar exudates are seen in typical pneumonia and the same intracellular exudates are absent in atypical pneumonia. That is the reason in atypical pneumonia, there will be absence of alveolar exudates, but there will be an infiltration and presence of alveolar septal as well as interstitial inflammation. And what is the, what are the clinical features which are seen in atypical pneumonia? It includes fever. It is not the high grade or acute onset of fever. The fever can be seen because of inflammation, chronic inflammation as well as chronic infection. The patient may develop headache, dry cough and myalgia. And one important point you should remember in atypical pneumonia that the productive cough and plural involvement is uncommon in nature. By this, 
we completed the differences between the typical pneumonia as well as atypical pneumonia.